Uh, we are probably about to crash here because I have absolutely no control of where we are going. Um, we, we've got to try. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Flyout. Yes, the game has released and a bunch of you people now have got your hands on it. Finally, it's been long enough and enough comments asking me when it was going to release. I don't know guys, I'm not the developer. Uh, uh, but... <laughs> Um, obviously, we've had access to this game for what feels like quite a long time, but also feels like not a very long time at all. Um, but that means I've kind of got a couple of tips and tricks up my sleeve, so... Uh, I did a stream last night, the VOD of that is still up on my channel, where I built this thing. So this was live, this footage was taken from my live stream, um... And uh, basically, you guys are the uh, the worst at coming up with ideas, um, and I should never trust you ever, um, because you make me build insane things. But regardless, um, <laughs> I listened, and we ended up with the thing that you saw on the intro to this video. So um, there's that, I suppose. Uh, but now that you have your hands on the games and you can build those things directly rather than getting me to do it over the internet on a stream, then you can send me in some cool little designs. Uh, and I have made a channel in the Discord just for that. So, if you are in my Discord already, uh, or you join it in the link in the description below, all you gotta do is find your craft files in app data slash local low slash stonexed game slash flyout, I think it is. Um, zip them up and then include a screenshot and uh, the file of your vehicle. Uh, and I'll take a look at them in about a week and uh, basically just have a look at what you guys have been up to in that time and. Um, We'll see what you can do in a very short time span, uh, learning quite a complex game, it must be admitted. Uh, yeah, it must be admitted. Uh, Flyout ain't easy to pick up, to be entirely honest. Uh, this is somewhat a buyer's aware, also like uh, a little bit of reassurance if you are struggling with it, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, Everybody's struggling, and that's fine, because ultimately the struggle will lead to you being able to build cool stuff, and uh, there is a lot of, lot of detail that you can go into, uh, which necessitates the complexity, and that's why blah 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 things are the way they are. Um, so yeah, it may, it may seem daunting, but uh, I, I swear, stick with it, it'll be good in the end for you. Um, but regardless, uh, we are building. A thing based on, is it the B-15? Is it the B-15 plane? Uh, Googling, Googling. No, not the B-15. M-15 or... Yes, the Belfagor. The Bel... Yes, the Belfagor. Um, it is a jet-powered biplane. And we're building a jet-powered biplane, which is obviously how the inspiration came about. Um, but the Belfagor is at least somewhat more sensible than what we're doing here, uh, as it has an engine in the fuselage. So there's this big intake above the cockpit that goes into an exhaust, and then you've got two big rudders side by side, and it's it's a crop duster. That's what it's, it's used for. In our case, we're not going to be doing that. What we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be strapping two jet engines to this, the one in each of these kind of rudder pods, I guess, uh, under the wings, well, between the wings, I suppose, and then it's, uh, <laughs> we have to root the air from the intake, so we've got a kind of tube running from the central part of the aircraft to the outboard sections, which would be where the air goes, I guess. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense, I must admit, but who cares? It's a good bit of fun. That's kind of the point of these games, in my opinion, is you can build things that don't really make sense, uh, such as, I decided, why don't we just make the tail upside down? That'll be fun, right? <laughs> um, and so I had many people dropping into the stream and immediately going, what on earth are you doing? Which is a fairly good question for what was being created at this moment in time, but uh, yeah. Don't worry about it too much. It's fine. Um, 
some people asked to make this thing a seaplane as well. I would like to do another seaplane again at some point, but uh, oh well, we <laughs> we're 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 just doing uh, little little jet biplanes at the moment. So maybe later, but uh, yeah. I think this is a fairly cool little design, to be entirely honest. Um, may not make the most sense, but who really cares about sense? That's kind of a an optional secondary thing, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, apologies for my voice, by the way. I still haven't fully recovered from my uh, illness, but um, yeah, I, I don't know why. It's just lasting forever. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I think it's about time that we head back to the gameplay where you can see me live commentarying. Yes. Mmm. That's how you say that. <laughs> okay, so here we have our little thing that we've built. Uh, I don't know how best to describe this. It's loosely based off a crop duster. It also has missile pods and twin 23mm guns on each wing, which means it's not a crop duster. <coughs> but regardless, uh, this was pretty good fun to make, to be entirely honest. Um, I do hope to kind of help out a little bit uh, <laughs> with everybody learning the game for the first time now that it is out. But um, if you want a little bit of a tutorial, there is the VOD of this stream up on the channel. Uh, I go a little bit more in depth on how I actually build things. Uh, and some of the earlier videos, I also cover a little bit of how the controls work. So uh, we won't tread water in today's video, but we may make a full tutorial-ish video at some point. We'll have to see if it works. But uh, for today, uh, we're going to fly this thing out, and then I'm going to show you a couple of the different variants that I made both on and off stream uh, in increasing levels of insanity. And unsurprisingly, we're going to be starting with this fella here. Now, uh, I have since worked out <laughs> how the steering on landing gears works in the new update, but um, yeah, I didn't when I did the stream. So this doesn't have any ground steering, but that's fine. We'll just give it a lot of left rudder. <laughs> um, but yeah. It, I think it actually takes off better without the flaps, to be entirely honest. So we're just going to leave it without, and you can see, it's really slow. <laughs> this does not have a lot of power behind it. These two jet engines are extremely weak, um, so it does take quite a while to get up to a takeoff speed here. But as you can see, once we get up into the air, it is actually quite nice to fly, all things considered. Uh, the characteristics of this thing aren't exactly crazy, it's not particularly quick, and it's definitely not particularly agile, but uh, in terms of just being controllable, it's fairly decent at that, actually. You can control nicely, the plenty of pitch, plenty of down pitch, roll is pretty nice. I'd say the main problem with this thing is just how sluggish it is, uh, which, you know, there, there's ways of amending that, which uh, you may see shortly. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's not too much going on here other than, obviously, we've got 223 millimeters, one on each wing. It's a fair whack of firepower. Uh, and then also we have some rocket pods. Uh, and these, I don't know if there is a way to fire these without firing my guns, but if there is, I haven't found it. Uh, but as you can see, crazy insane amounts of rockets on this thing uh, and maybe as we fire them off we'll get a, a little bit quicker <laughs> as well um, which is going to help out in many ways lovely but yeah we won't linger too long on this design because we've got a couple more to go through so uh, let's see if I can land I do think the idle throttle on these engines might be a little bit too high because uh, as you can see we're coming in for landing uh, zero percent throttle and uh, we don't lose speed very quickly despite being about as aerodynamic as three bricks uh, lined up side by side. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fine though, all we need to do is touch down and then just use the wheel brakes. See? That's fine! <laughs> and that was actually quite a short landing all things considered. I'm that's alright, to be honest. Uh, 
on to other versions, I guess. Version number two is probably my favorite, to be entirely honest, um, but it may not be your favorite. You'll have to stick around for version three, but uh, this is a kind of more sensible version of it. You can see the tails are no longer within the uh, <laughs> stream of the jet exhausts, so that won't uh, absolutely cook all of the paint and then the metal off the back of the aircraft, which is... Uh, beneficial, I guess. Uh, I mean, it would still get a little bit toasty up there, but no idea as badly, especially with how weak these engines actually are. We've also got some uh, extra fuel tanks just kind of on the roof here, on these shoulders, and I thought there was some on the sides of the fuselage, but that has disappeared somehow, so... Uh, that's gone. Um, but yeah, this doesn't actually have any guns or any uh, rockets on it. So this is basically more of a recon kind of plane. Um, but it flies quite a lot better. <laughs> so the details uh, may be somewhat obvious as to what's changed with the tail being upwards now. But uh, as per flight performance, it still performs predictably and kind of nicely. But uh, you'll notice as soon as we take off that this thing is quite a lot lighter. <laughs> uh, it likes to actually turn, unlike the previous one, so um, perhaps we've gone a little bit too far in the other direction, because if I uh, actually just give it some full lock here, uh, you will see that it turns rather well. <laughs> this may be the one of the most agile things I've made. I don't want to say the most agile, because I, I made that Mirage, which could absolutely melt a pilot in nanoseconds, but I, I feel like this is pretty close. Uh, if you were going at a particularly high speed, this would seriously pull some Gs, I can imagine. And it actually has pretty good thrust to weight, so you can see that we're kind of climbing consistently-ish at like 30 degrees. We can, we can kind of maintain speed here. Uh, which is pretty decent. Um, however, aerodynamically, it's it's not, basically. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't get to a particularly high top speed, even if it uh, gets to that top speed pretty quickly. So I've been flying in a straight line for a while now, and the top speed that we're really reaching is about 560. Uh, the controls on this are so sensitive that it, it anywhere between 0% <laughs> I'm pitching up, 1% I'm pitching down, so there is no stable trim I can give this, so uh, it, it, it may not be the fairest speed test ever, because I've had to keep adjusting its angle, but um, yeah, that's the best we're really going to come up with here. <laughs> but at this speed, uh, you can see, we're pulling 15 Gs uh, for a split second there, which is enough. I'm going to go as far as to say, enough to really shake this thing apart and kill the pilot, so uh, that's all you really need to do, right? We've been diving for quite a while here to return to the runway, and I've pulled about 670 kilometers an hour in a dive, so, um, you know, there's that. That's not too bad. So nearly 700. It's quite an improvement. Granted, we do have to be falling for it, but, you know, that's fine. Okay, landing time it is. This shouldn't be any harder than the last one. It should really be a little bit easier. So, um, hopefully, this should this should be fine. <laughs> uh, I think, once again, the uh, idle throttle is the same, and it is quite high, so uh, we kind of have um, too much thrust for landing, really. But, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. That's what we have brakes for, yeah? <laughs> just put tougher landing gear on your aircraft. Jeez. Uh, and we can even use our little tiny diddy flaps here, um, but they are not the most useful, to be entirely honest. Uh, shall we try and touch down here? Be gentle, be gentle. That wasn't too bad. Hit the brakes. Nice. Very good. And now... It's time for what's going to be your favorite one, even though this is mine. Uh, you're going to prefer this next one, and I can pretty much guarantee that. Here's one with four afterburning jet engines. And aerodynamic nose things on the wing bits. Yeah, this can't go Mac 1. <laughs> even with the engines set to these ridiculous settings. We still can't do it. Look at the size of these engines in here. We still can't reach Mach 1. <laughs> but don't worry. 
That's why I made this. <laughs> this is... Uh, distinctly impractical, I think, is the best way to put it. Uh, we have a big nose cone full of fuel, just so that we can um, actually have more than 10 seconds of flight time on this thing. Uh, and we have 10 afterburning jet engines. So, uh, yeah, we'll fly it just because I know you're going to want to see it. It's also extremely loud. Uh, my apologies for that. That is uh, absolutely deafeningly loud. But uh, as you can see, we have a little bit more in the way of top speed going on here. And uh, very soon, you will start to see that this thing still doesn't get to <laughs> easily to Mac. I mean, okay, it, it's, it's not the most difficult, but considering we have 10, 10 afterburning jet engines, and they're pretty big. You would really think that we'd be going faster than 1.07 Mach right now. <laughs> We're burning through all of this fuel, all of this fuel, all of this wing is also fuel tanks. We're burning through all of that in 10 minutes. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. There is no reason that you would ever, ever consider doing this. <laughs> It's also ugly as sin. Just to clarify, I am fully aware of that. Um, but you know what? That's part of the fun of this thing, right? <laughs> and to clarify, uh, this was chat's idea, so uh, if you don't like this, blame them. Um, and show up next time. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this thing may be a little bit more on the challenging side to land, I have to admit. Uh, but why not? We'll give it a shot, and as you can see, we have two guns that fire at different rates. Uh, we <laughs> uh, one of them, I don't know why I didn't copy the settings over. The other one, I was trying to have a gun that I could be faster than the bullets, uh, and it's not quite possible, but uh, maybe if I was even quicker, I could pull it off. But uh, yeah, no, not with this thing. <laughs> We are stalling something nasty here as soon as we turn off the engines. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to... I feel like the engines are genuinely the only thing providing stability to this thing. Oh my goodness me. Uh, we are probably about to crash here because I have absolutely no control of where we are going. Um, we, we've got to try. <laughs> oh no! Ah! No, that's fine. Yep, no, we're good. And then touchdown. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> A traditional landing to end off the video. But there you go. That is uh, that is our little thing that we built on stream. Uh, so if you want a little tutorial on how the game works, you can watch the VOD for that. Um, and maybe an actual tutorial will be coming in the future, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. But for now, if you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe, and I will see you in the future. Uh, goodbye! <laughs>